So, yo, I, I interviewed, man, I've interviewed a lot of Detroit rappers. Like I said, I even I, I did Dex Osama's, uh, one of his last interviews. I, I've been around the Detroit scene for a while. I always ask Detroit rappers, they're top five rappers in Detroit, and they never say Eminem, right? Right. Why is that? Because we niggas don't feel connected with Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Like. He wasn't, he wasn't nobody that we, like, I've never met him, ever seen him in person. So it always be a connection type of thing. And obviously, you know, we, we grew up, we, we felt as if we maybe, you know, lived differently or had it different from him. I really think it's more like, you know, nigga, nigga gone. He far gone. You know, we were shorties when he came up. So none of us, you know, even went before way before he came up, like, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people that, you know that that that, that seen M before he came up, that dealt with him, that ran into him. We just haven't. We way younger than M. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's just more of a we street rappers. He ain't no street rapper. It's just more of that. But like we can't deny what M did at the end of the day. He's from this motherfucker. Like we can't take that from that nigga. Can't nobody take that from him. He from here. Ain't no way around that. He's from this motherfucker. Like M playing the eight mile and all that shit, the trailer park, you know, that, that probably happened, that part happened in his life too. But M from, I, I said it was Brad for them my last interview. I found out that was Anna. M from Anna. You know what I'm saying? And that's in the slums. Mm -hmm. Like he between six mile and Griner. That's the exact part of the hood I'm from. You know, Bradford turning, Bradford is a street over from Anna. You know what I'm saying? So like, I don't know, bro. I just think it's more like, you know, he ain't nobody that we can relate to, um, like, c as far as connecting with. You know, he not nobody we connect with. Like, our stories don't sound the same. Our struggles don't sound the same. What he talked about ain't what we seen. He talked about what he seen. You know what I mean? Like, he ain't, he don't rep the shit that we rep. He rep 8 Mile. He don't, he don't do what we do. I think it's more of a connection thing, but I don't think it's fair to take something away from him because we can't take that from him. That nigga came from nothing, bro. It came from absolutely nothing. The man lived in a trailer park home. Multi-millionaire. Did that shit off rap. You know what I mean? We don't know where he, where he get back to. Like, we can't say all oh, that nigga don't get back. We don't know what that man do, bro. Just because a nigga don't put their name on it. You know what I'm saying? I learned to stop judging people but if you don't really know them. I don't know him personally. That's like me saying, I, that's like me calling a nigga a rat and I ain't never seen this paperwork. You can't do that, bro. I don't move like that. You know what I mean? I can't speak for everybody, but I don't do that. I can't do that. I can't discredit no nigga that I don't know. We ain't even the same age. So, of course, I wouldn't have seen him growing up. The nigga was already a millionaire. Right. Do you remember being in Detroit when the movie 8 Mile was released? Yeah. That shit was lit. But... Eight Mile don't. Eight Mile didn't. Uh, it wasn't a representation of the real Detroit, though. I can tell you that. That shit was okay. not. That ain't Detroit at all. That movie is not Detroit. That's Eminem life. That's what he seen, what he witnessed. That ain't Detroit. What, what the Detroit we know, as far as all the rappers that came up and everybody that you interviewed, like that ain't what we know. That wasn't Detroit at all. Like, you know what I mean? That shit was just like with the Cheddar Bob, nigga. All that shit was all corny, bro. I, we all felt, <laughs> no, it was though. We all felt a misrepresentation. You know what I mean? Like this our hood, bro. This what you know. We love this motherfucker. It's fucked up as it is. Every nigga love their hood. You know what I mean? Even though it got their flaws, but like that shit was just corny to us. The whole everything, they language, they link, like they lingo. All that shit was just guard. It, it was whack because it wasn't Detroit. That wasn't Detroit at all. When when Eight Mile came out around that time, this one you gotta think this one the Cheddar Boys and. Street Lords, like Blade Ice, where all these niggas was doing their thing and really getting money and really flexing, really living that shit, you know, really motivating us, doing shit that we really wanted to do as shorties. Like, these were niggas that we looked up to. So for that movie to come out, that shit was a whole nother, that, that was a real misrepresentation of Detroit. But that was that man life. That's what he seen. You know what I'm saying? Right. Is that what motivated you to kind of like, you know, you mentioned earlier that you wrote a movie in jail. Did that motivate you and inspire you to do that so you that can make definitely a movie your way? A play. Yeah, that played a big factor, thinking about that movie. Fuck yeah. I want to show the real Detroit, you know, our real lingo, how we really talk, how we really rocking, how we really moving, how we really dress, the surroundings, everything. Like, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Like, 
a mob make it seem like we just this underground rap battle in that city. Like, that's what it is here. That shit ain't, niggas don't give a fuck about no battle rap, bro. Like, niggas just don't. Niggas don't care about that shit. For real, for real. Like, and we got good battle rappers from Detroit. I'm just saying, like, as a youngin, niggas don't even give a fuck about regular rap. Like, niggas trying to survive out this motherfucker, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas trying to stay free and alive out this bitch. Niggas hustling. Niggas doing all type of shit. Battle rap, that ain't no, that ain't what no, no nigga man, you as no shorty, like we ain't give a fuck about going to no battle raps and that shit just made it look like we was this hip hop type of city and we wasn't bro, this bitch is a drug up.